Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Tender Tasty Tea Days. If you guys don't know what Tender Tasty Tea Days is, you're sleeping under a rock, so fucking fucking like the video now if you guys don't know what tinder tasty tea days is basically uh, tinder tasty tea days is when every tuesdays and thursdays the family and i comes together we get lit motherfucker we rate wizard water one stitches sent in by you guys via twitter using the hashtag tinder tasty tea days i think i'm going crazy if you would like to participate in the episode of tinder tasty tea days all you gotta do is go over to twitter make a post with your with your stitch use the hashtag tinder tasty tea days make sure you add me in a post at smojo sf and please follow me also guys i am hosting a stitch event it's a stitch contest the winner takes 50 bones my boy if you guys want to enter in that all you gotta do is hop into the discord server go to the hashtag stitch off of chat leave your favorite stitch any stitches you want you know what i mean and uh you have a chance of winning 50 dollars uh once the stitch contest actually happens so yeah go ahead and do that and yeah let's go ahead and get started in today's episode of tinder tasty tds my friends today's stitch is gonna be by the same guy as last episode that dillian dill i still can't pronounce your name bro Still can't pronounce your name. Dillian Dallian Big D. I call I think I called him Big D. Mr. D, Big D, Small D, Itty Bitty 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 Anyways, Mr. D, we're gonna be rating the second stitch that you sent since you sent two. We're gonna be rating the second one, the one that looks like a PvP set. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Here's how we rate stitches on the Tinder Tasty TAs. You see the emojis at the top? We got the googly eyes, the brain, the star, and the 100. The googly eyes basically means does your stitch make sound? Uh, the googly eyes basically means does your stitch look good? Is it pleasing to the eye? Am I gonna look at your stitch and wish that i had your stitch and if not then too bad the brain is does your stitch actually make sense to actually wear does it does it you know does it does it correlate one another and does it just in general make sense for you to be putting that on the star is uh, how unique is your stitch how hard it is to get the gear that you have how easy it is to get the gear that you have the harder it is the, you know the, the higher your score basically and the 100 all the way at the end is your final overall score of your stitch so now that we know the rules and how we do things around here it's time to get started first one we're gonna do is the googly eyes does your stitch look good okay um mm, oh oh however i will say that i am proud compared to the last stitch that i read about you i prefer this one but at the same time i still don't think you know pleasing to me at least i still don't think in general it looks good it's just like it's like the colors aren't there the the level of detail isn't there the the correlation isn't there you know what i mean like your boots look dark blue your robe is like a black and a red you got a golden crown hat and your your wand got some blue in it it's like it just feel like the colors and schemes are like all over the place right now man like like yeah it just it just feels like it just feels like none no pieces of your gear really like mesh with one another and actually makes sense to wear with each other that's you know it just doesn't i don't know it's just i'm getting like an off feeling from from the pieces of gear none of them look like they're supposed to go together basically yeah man i'm sorry bro i'm i'm a i don't even think i can give you any points for this one bro i just it just none of it looks like it's supposed to go together you know i'm a i'm sorry bro i don't have to give you zero i'm having this is the first time i ever gave somebody zero i'm gonna have to give you zero bro it just doesn't look like none of the pieces of gear work you know sorry it's just what it is next up is the brain does it look like not does it look like does it make sense for these pieces of gear to go together um in my opinion not really mainly because of your boots the dragoon boots are like they have like a little bit of a metal part at the bottom and I feel like if you're gonna rock the dragoon boots as a stitch you should probably rock metal gear as well like your robe should have some type of metal in it or be made out of metal um your hat and your your wand don't really matter in that aspect but your robe in my opinion i feel like it should be made out of metal if you're gonna be rocking the dragon boots just because of the way that the dragon boots are like set up or whatever now you are rocking a pvp robe with a sword and you know usually if i'm looking at somebody that's about to pvp you know you know put in the works with somebody you know i imagine a sword so you know i'm like i give you some points on that one and your hat i just your hat just doesn't make sense to me, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I just, it just don't make sense to me. Yeah, man, your hat doesn't look like it makes sense. The boot don't correlate with nothing. The only thing that makes sense to me right now is the robe and the and the sword. 
So I'm gonna give you some points on that one. I'm gonna give you like a solid three out of ten on that one, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little something, something. You know, it ain't much, but it's something. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna give you a solid three out of ten on that one. Next up is how unique your gear is, and this one you probably will get like a decent amount of points on this. I mean, dragoon boots. You know, we've all been to dragoon. We've all had to farm the fucking shit, man a whole bunch of times just to get dragoon gear so like and relatively on how difficult it, it's not really difficult it's more so tedious you know what i mean but then again you can say that about anything in wizard 101 it's just tedious none of it is actually hard to do you just got to do it a bunch of times and then you'll eventually get it so i mean in that sense it's kind of the same you know what i mean now when it comes to the pvp robe i think you could just buy that from like the the pvp place you know what i mean Cause I remember PVPing and I got it like mad easy. So I'm assuming everyone just gets it mad easy. I actually don't know where to get your hat. I really don't know. I think that's like a limited time edition item. So that's really good. Um, I don't think you used it right in the stitch, but it's still a unique hat. I, I believe, I don't think you can buy it anywhere. I think it's like a limited time item that you can only get at a certain time of year or whenever wizard One one decides to give us an, an item or whatever. Um, so that's good. At least you're, you know, I guess he tried to do something with it. And then your sword, I believe you could just get your sword from the, the bazaar. So, but the, the main two unique parts of your gear that I see is the dragon boots and your crown. For both of those, bro, I'm gonna give you a solid five out of ten on uniqueness, man. Uh, you know, not too bad, not too shabby. And honestly, to be truthful with you, bro, the ways that I would fix up your gear, Honestly, I think your best piece of attire that you have on right now is the Dragoon boots, man. You don't see a lot of people using them in stitches. It's difficult-ish to get, and they don't look too bad. You just gotta find, you know, a decent amount of other gears to use with it, you know what I mean? Versus the other stuff that you have on. I would rather keep your boots and just find different pieces of gear and correlate them with your boots. If you want to keep your boots. Of course, you can do whatever you want, but if I was you... I would try to make some some type of stitch with those boots and just ditch all the rest of the pieces of gear. I really don't think they work. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I really don't think. All together, my friend, we're looking at a solid. What is that? Eight out of ten. Five plus three. Eight out of ten. Not eight out of ten. What's wrong with me? Five plus three is eight. I gotta divide that by three. So we're looking at like a two point something. So we're just gonna round it up and give you a three out of ten, my friend. Solid three out of ten. But yeah, it's just your gear in my eyes doesn't look good. The pieces of gear don't correlate with one another. You do got some unique gear on, which is pretty solid. So you can maybe work off of that. But that's really all this stitch has going for itself, in my opinion. If I were you, I would keep the boots and just find a robe, hat, wand to correlate around the boots. Obviously, you don't have to listen to me. You could just keep this on and rock what you want to rock because you think it looks nice. My opinion doesn't matter. So yeah, but hey, if you want my opinion, there it is, my friend. But yeah, thank you for submitting your stitches. I do appreciate you for doing that. Thank you so much. And if you do fix up your stitch or change it in any way, feel free to submit it again and I will rate it again. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Don't forget to enter inside of the, uh, the stitch off competition. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day.